We're constantly looking for new ways to help farmers grow higher yielding crops and at the same time use resources more efficiently. One of the developments we're currently working on is a new herbicide tolerance trait called TruFlex Canola, which will give growers more flexibility with weed control. We've been working on TruFlex Canola since 2011, and over the past few seasons, we've conducted extensive field trials in all the major canola growing regions of Australia. We're very excited about the results of the trials and the benefits of TruFlex Canola for growers. Glyphosate works by blocking the EPS-PS enzyme in plants. This enzyme is essential for a plant's normal growth and development. Roundup Ready Canola contains the CP4 EPS-PS gene, which enables plants to produce the EPS-PS enzyme when they've been sprayed with Roundup and therefore keep growing normally. TruFlex Canola builds on the technology of Roundup Ready Canola. It contains the same CP4 EPS-PS gene, but the gene expression is enhanced by the addition of a new promoter sequence. This gives increased tolerance to glyphosate, and as a result, it provides canola growers greater flexibility with glyphosate applications. In fact, TruFlex Canola extends the glyphosate application window from six leaf through to first flower. That equates to an additional 10 to 14 days to control weeds compared with Roundup Ready Canola, which is especially useful for late weed germinations. These plots were sprayed at the same time and sprayed with glyphosate at the same rate at first flower. You can see clearly that TruFlex Canola has not suffered any crop damage. TruFlex Canola also allows growers to safely apply Roundup Ready herbicide with plant shield at higher rates compared with Roundup Ready Canola, enhancing weed control. Canola hybrids with the TruFlex trait are now part of the national variety trials. We are currently assessing the results but we're very encouraged by what we've seen so far. We anticipate that TruFlex Canola will be commercially available for the 2019 growing season.